Good morning. This is Deanna Blackman, Stampin' Dee Dee, at Stampin' Dee Dee's Doings. And we are here today to make a pinwheel tower card. And I want you to know, when I first saw this card, I thought, oh my word, I would never do that. That is way too much trouble. But, it's not. It's really not. All right, I'm looking, I'm bringing the video up, and there it is. Awesome, and you can't see it. Okay, that's what I need to know is how far up to go with this. Let me pull my, up just a little bit. All right, here we go. These are two samples of the pinwheel tower card and we're going to look at those in just a minute but real quickly i just want to remind you that today is the deadline for the october class to go the biggest wish and it is a cool cool class to go with some with some great cards and all you have to do is scroll down on this website and find the details next thursday is the deadline to RSVP for the November Christmas tag class. And the reason, I'm sorry, the reason that we have to RSVP so early is that I need to get those Love Santa tag kits ordered. Um, I don't want them to run out. The class is actually Saturday, November 6th. So, and then, or Monday, November 8th in the evening. So, again, those details will all be on this website, which is Stampin' Dee Dee's Doings, and it is my business page. Um, hold on a minute. Let me put this back. It's my business page. It's where I do all of the videos, um, that sort of thing. Stampin' Dee Dee's Doings and Designs is my group page. So there's a difference in the two, a little bit of a difference, but I try to post the same things on both pages. So this video is being shared or will be shared um, onto my group page after it's finished. But to view it live, you've got to be on this page, Stampin' Dee Dee's Doings, on my business page. So. I know that's a little confusing. It was even confusing for me at first. But um, I, I was advised for several reasons to um, have this business page. Good morning, Kay. Thank you for being here. And for anyone else who may be watching, because I know some of you don't comment. You don't let me know you're here, and I get it. So thank you for being here. And if you're watching the replay... I hope you enjoy it. Um, thank you for doing that. And I would love it if you would leave a comment and let me know you're watching the replay. But either way, I hope that you enjoy this this um, card today. Um, all right, so here is one of them. And as you can see, it has multiple sides, multiple sides. And when it stands up, it looks just like that. And when you mail it, you just fold it down. And it will fit right into your A2 envelope. It will just fit perfectly into your A2 envelope. So, there you go. That's that one. And I don't add much bulk on this one. The butterfly, you know, stands up just a little bit, but there's no dimensionals used because I don't want it to get too bulky in the envelope. And this is a space I have left to write a note. So there's one of them. I almost said it. And then here's the one we're going to make today. And this one is using the beautifully pinned paper. Actually, both of them used the beautifully pinned paper. I love black and white. I love black and white with a splash of color, and that's what this card does. The flowers um, are from the Color and Contour set. 
and they just match so beautifully with the um, flowers on the beautifully pinned paper. The greeting, the sentiment on both of these sentiments are from the Biggest Wish set, which is what our October class to go is. And then I've left space to write a note. I had another one of these, and I think it's actually the picture I posted further down on this website, but I've already sent it to a friend who's very ill, and um, I think she will, I hope she will enjoy standing it up and looking at it. All right, so here we go. I posted the supplies that you would need if you're going to make along with me, and I hope you'll do that. I would love it if you're going to make this card right along with me. Kay, are you making the card? <laughs> I know you've done one of these before, but um, we can all use refreshers, right? All right, so here, I'm making sure they're in here. You need um, card stock, and that card stock will measure six and a quarter by four and a quarter. So a piece of cardstock, colored cardstock, and then you're going to take that cardstock and you're going to score it. And I start here. You're going to score it at two and three quarters and at three and three quarters. And you're thinking, I'm going to run out of room, but you don't. At four and three quarters. And then the last time at five and three quarters. And that is going to leave just the smallest little tab right on the end. All right. So we've got our piece scored. So we need that. And then in the same color cardstock, and I, you can do whatever, you know that. But um, I like to, I like to be um, color coordinated. So in the same color cardstock, you cut three of these, one, two, three, and they are at two and three quarters and four and a fourth. Two and three quarters and four and a fourth. All right, and then in your designer series paper, which is your DSP designer series paper. And I chose one that I could use both sides. So I think it's, it's a good idea to look at your other side and make sure that you can use both sides. And if not, then you might want to cut two in one pattern and two in another. Or do all four in this pattern. And when you do your other designer series paper, because you need a coordinating designer series paper, which... I used the same thing because I can use both sides, but you might want to pick a different designer series paper to coordinate with it. So that's up to you, and it's up to you how you put them on, too. So this one is two and five-eighths by four and one-eighth, two and five-eighths by four and one-eighth, and you cut four of these. You'll notice on my card that I cut the other way which I didn't realize that until I started cutting, but it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. At least on this, it doesn't. If you have a pattern that it matters, you might wanna be careful. All right, so we've got four of those. And then this <clears throat> is the, the back side of this, but it could be something different. And these you cut, also cut four of, and they are one and five eighths by four and one eighth. So as you can see, this one is the one that goes here. This one, the bigger one, is the one that goes here. So, all right. Easy enough so far, right? Those are the pieces we need. And then extra white cardstock. And you can do it any way you want. I used Stitch So Sweetly and Color and Contour to cut a couple of panels. One of the cards I made, I just cut four of these. And I put one on every large, let's see, where is it on this one? 
I put one on each large one, but I didn't want to do that on this one. So, there again, you do it the way you want to. But for this card, one in the smaller size and one in the larger size. All right. And now we're ready to put our card together. Oh, and you need extra basic white cardstock for your um, images that you're going to use. Any images like these, um, I stamped and die cut them. And this, whoops, <laughs> for these, I stamped and die cut them. And for this one, I stamped and die cut it. You can, it, there's where you might want to put the white on here and just stamp it right onto the white and not have to do any die cutting at all, which is fine. It works very well. On this one, I just stamped it right onto my little panel. All right. So, let's get started. We have our, our base, six and a quarter by four and a quarter. And you probably can't see it. Let me turn this light on. I don't know if it'll make a difference. I don't know if you can see the fold that we did just a minute ago. And then we're gonna, and we'll take our bone folder. Now I'm gonna move this out of the way. On my blog, I always post photos and complete directions. All of your cut sizes, it's all on my blog, scrappandeedyspot.blogspot.com. And you'll find more samples, pictures of samples. You'll find other things that I don't do a Facebook Live with on my blog. So go to my blog. Over on the left-hand side, click follow so that you can, you will, I think, I'm not I'm not sure how it works, but I think you'll receive a little, a notice, a notification that I've posted something new. So, um, please follow. All right, here we go. So, we're going to take our bone folder, and we're just going to crease each one of these. Get them ready to go. Crease it with your bone folder. Crease it with your bone folder all the way down to the last little bitty piece. All right. So you can see that this is what forms your square. Isn't that cool? That's what forms your square. So we're, I'm going to use liquid glue um, so that I can move it around. Um, I used tear and tape on one of them, but once I got it down, I couldn't move it, and you want your square to be um, even. So I'm just, you want it to be square. All right. So now I'm just going to take it and set it down on here and make sure my ends are even and my square is even. Move it out just a little bit. There. That looks pretty good. I think I need to move it back in just a little bit. Alright. Okay. Oh, I need to move it back out a little bit. See, it's just there. Now it's square. And so I'm going to take it and whoops, fold it down and do that. All right. We've got that ready to go. If it were perfectly even, which it's obviously not, you would be able to fold this down flat. So that's kind of how you can tell, and maybe I should have done that. But anyway, it is good enough. Now we're going to take our cardstock square, our cardstock pieces, and we're going to start forming our pinwheel card. And to do this, we're just going to glue them on all the way around. So I'm going to put the glue, let's see, 
make sure that I get it going right. Okay, I'm gonna put the glue on this. And put this on, and this is pretty easy to line up. <laughs> Thank goodness. Thank goodness, this is easy to line up. I'm gonna fix this, I'm gonna make it right. Since I didn't get it quite, there we go. got that one on and now we're going to put this one on so you just go around and on each of these surfaces come on glue you put one of your cardstock pieces on put that right there make it even Okay, I'm going to fold it down and make sure I get it on. You have to put a little pressure when you use the green cap, green glue. You have to put a little pressure on it. Hold it for a minute. All right. And now we're ready for the last one, which is going to go right here. And you can see how it's forming our pinwheel. So the last one is going to go right here. I keep moving my blog spot thing. It's going to go right here. Be even. Stand it up. Make sure it's even. Here we go. Yay! All right, Kay. Then you tell me if I'm going too fast. Because I know this takes a little bit of time. And I'm happy to wait for you. All right. There we go. And I'll wait just a minute. Give Kay a chance to get hers glued. So the weather is beginning to change a little bit, but you know what? We had our air conditioner off. We had to turn it back on. It got so humid. I just couldn't. I told Clint, I said, I just can't stand it. <laughs> so we had to turn it back on. I, I thought maybe fall was here for sure. All right, here we go. She says she's got it. All right, now it's time to start wallpapering. And on this, so for this, you can do one this way and do the next one the opposite direction if you want to. You can alternate them. You can wallpaper them the same way, each one. Totally up to you. I'm going to alternate them only because that's what I did on this card. So this one was the stripe, this one was the flowers. So I'm going to alternate them, but it is totally up to you. So I'll start here with my stripe. Okay. And get it on. You want to center it, leaving just a little bit littlest tiniest edge around each side give it a give it a press and then turn it and this one will be on the opposite side so I'll put the glue on the stripes and put it on Okay, I wish this were Zoom so I could see yours. <laughs> You'll have to send me a picture. Anybody who does one, 
if anyone else is doing this with us or if you do it later, I would love to have a picture. And what you can do is go to my group page. Now, see, you can't post pictures on the business, this business page, but you can on the group page. So I'll have an, I'll have an album, tower cards, because I'd love to see yours. It gives me ideas when I see yours. All right, here we go. Designer series number three. Got that. And then number four. See how easy? I mean, this to me is the easiest card. I sat here, and while I was cutting one, I cut several the other day, and put them together, and they were so easy, and they're so stunning. I mean, who expects to open up an envelope and find this? So, I just love it. All right, we're wallpapered now. Every other one. So now we're going to do our short strips. And because I alternated this side, I'm definitely going to alternate this side. I may have to switch glues here in a minute. I'd love to use one up. It's hard to know when they're used up when they're empty. I can't tell. Can you? I can't tell whether it's empty or not. Okay. That one. And now for the flowery side. I think these would make a fun Christmas card, too. I don't do Christmas cards. I don't send out Christmas cards. I wish I did. I wish I could. I used to. <laughs> I don't anymore. I used to send a Christmas letter, but I don't right now. Um, yeah, I just don't. So, I would. I think this would be a fun, fun Christmas card. All right, here we go. That's our third piece. Make sure it's down. And then our fourth piece. You know, I'm thinking maybe it's almost empty. But then I rub the end and here it comes pouring out so it's hard to know all right let's get this last piece on here got it got it now here's our pinwheel isn't that cool <laughs> here's our card let me see how we're doing All right, at this point, it's time to decorate. So, I think what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to get my piece of white cardstock and I'm going to do my flowers. So I used the Color and Contour stamp set and I'm going to, this and this stamp set has, um, is it? I didn't put it on a, on a block. Did I not? It's got the shaded areas too. It's a, a two-step two-step stamp, stamp set. So you stamp the outline of the flower. Let me put this here. And then you have the shading 
which you then stamp in a different color or a darker color or the same color. So what I'm doing is I'm stamping my outline in Calypso Coral. Now my paper is Flirty Flamingo and I'm gonna do the inside with Flirty Flamingo. But I'm gonna do the outside with Calypso Coral, which is just a tad darker. So I think it'll fit right here. Oh, and I've got, I need to use my pad because this is a photopolymer stamp. So if it's a photopolymer stamp, you need to um, put a little bit of padding under it. I think I may have messed up because I think my stamp came loose from my block. Nope, it did just fine. All right, so okay. Well, you know what? I had to pack up. We're leaving to go um, to San Antonio, and I packed my shaming. So let me wet this one. I have a little one that I keep for emergencies, just like this. <laughs> Oops. So let me wet it good. I keep a spray bottle handy with water in it to re-wet my chamois to do so many things. I use this spray bottle all the time. So, now I've got a soaking wet chamois. So I'm just going to, and like I say, I, cut, I took one of my chamois and cut it in half. And I keep this, and it is so handy. All right, now I'm going to come back and do the shading, and I'm going to do it in um, Flirty Flamingo because it's a little bit lighter. I mean, it's you could stamp off the Calypso Coral once and probably get the same thing, but I'll do this and line it up, and it's easy to do because it's a photopolymer stamp. A little harder when you're not on top of it but it also doesn't matter you know there we go now I have my filling in and I'll clean that off. <coughs> so that one's ready to go and now I'm going to use the big flower and it is the same way I'm putting this one here. It's the same way. It is the outline stamp, which I'm going to do in Calypso Coral on this one because it's the darker of the two. And because a flower like this is a little bit harder to figure out where the shading goes, I put a mark, you can't, you probably can't see it, but I put a pin mark, um, a Sharpie mark, right at the top of this flower, and then I matched this flower up to where it's supposed to be, and let me make sure, here. I don't think that one's right. I, I marked this one several times. And I can tell. I think that's it. Let me see. Nope. It must be this one. Well, poo. Why do I have so many marks? <laughs> I think that one right. Well, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I thought I had it right. But that does not look right. It does not look right. And that's not it. And that's not it. So it's got to be this one right here. 
何せうんposition those I can tell and remark them because it is not going to come out right but you know when I cut it it's not going to matter hold on I'll go on and just do it oh dear I did the wrong one all right Let's see what happens when you mess around all right where's this one so we'll do it again Let me do this one. Oh, you know why that didn't work? Because I had my stamp upside down. Do you ever do that? Oh my goodness. No wonder it didn't match up. And no wonder it made such a huge blob. Oh my goodness. Right here on Broadcast Live, I did that. Now, oh my goodness. What a difference this is going to make. <laughs> All right, now, uh, that was Flirty Flamingo. I thought it was, and now it's perfect. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe I did that. All right, so now it is going to be lined up. Look at the difference when you use the right side of the stamp. Look at that. <laughs> All right, and so... For this one, I'm going to do the second flower. I did the outline. Let me get it good and clean with my chamois. And I'm going to do the outline in basic gray. It's taking longer to do this than the tower card. My goodness gracious. All right, I'm doing the outline in basic gray. Putting my marked piece up. Clean my stamp off so I don't get my arm in it or something. <laughs> get the shading, make sure it's cleaned off. Goodness gracious, I can't believe I did that. And now, the other side of this stamp is... Um, wet and so my stamp's moving around but I've got the right side up and we're ready to go there we go now let me close my inks get them out of the way Get my dies out of my color and contour. So I'm going to use it. You know these color and contour dies? It has a whole set of these um, dies. Now what have I done with them? <laughs> I've got to use them to put on my card. There they are. <laughs> it's got a whole set of these dies. This one was that one right there. And that was the main reason I bought the color and contour dyes. But now I find that I use my flower and my bloom a lot. So, I'm going to make this easier. I'm going to cut around this and cut around this. So that I can run this through my mini cutting emboss and not have to drag my big one over here. Alright. So I'm going to get my bloom cut, my flower cut out first. Line it up. Huh? 
my hand keeps shaking. There. There. And there. And I'll tell you, saying, Deanna, get out your washi tape. She's so good about using her washi tape. And I'm not so good. All right. I'll get that one cut. We've got our, that bloom, and now we're going to have to cut this one twice. So I will get my other guy, and I have it marked. I also have it marked with some washi tape to show which piece is how it fits down over to get the best cut because these are just they're um, different. <laughs> And it, it helps to have that guide. Because you can't really tell by looking at it. It's really funny. Um, so, positioning it. Mm. have that position going. It's funny. Okay. I'm going to stick with what I know to be right. And I'm going to go for it. You know, the thing is, when you get these cut, it doesn't matter that it's not perfectly lined up because it's an artistic bloom. It's not a precise bloom. It's an artistic bloom. So it does not matter. It looks just fine. There's that one. Seeing it lining up the way it should. There. That one lined up perfectly, I think. Well, and that one didn't. And you can tell a difference on that one. I don't get it. I honestly don't get why it's messing up on me. Especially for a Facebook Live. But I'm going to go for it. I may do that one over. <laughs> Let's see what happened with this one. This one was this one was better. That's weird. All right. So this one. Hmm. Let me see. And I don't have. You know what? For time's sake, I'm gonna trim it a little where it doesn't look right, and we're going to go with it, because I don't have time to get out more cardstock. Okay, how are you coming? I bet you're doing yours perfectly. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to have to readjust my die with my stamp to get it. <clears throat> but I can make this look good. I can make it look good. I feel certain. Some of the white out of there. I should have just fussy cut it, right? All right, and cut this one off. That one goes there. This one, get that point off because it's not pointed. 
All right, that's better. That's better. Shouldn't have had to do that with the die. I'm going to have to recalibrate. Recalibrate. <laughs> that's what it's called, right? I'm going to take this one off. Okay. All right, we're good. We're good to go. Put that back over there. Put that one there. Clean my space off here. All right, get all my little pieces that I trimmed. Oh my goodness. Okay, now we're ready to decorate our tower card. So I do have <clears throat> one little bit more bit of stamping to do on the smaller piece. I'm going to stamp the bud twice. And I believe I stamped it in basic gray, too. Just to kind of coordinate them. Give them some continuity. So I'm going to do the bud. Right. Let me do the... No, I'll do the side one. But no, I'm going to do the middle one first. Do the middle one. Am I not doing it on camera? And... So hard if you're not on top of it. Oops. I keep a rag handy for when I get it on the block because I sure don't want to get it. There we go. All right, and now I need to put in the flirty flamingo color. This way, here again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Stamp it. Stamp it. I love that you can stamp the color and so quickly. Stamp it. There we go. So we've got those. And on top of that one, we have hello in the basic gray. Get the hello up here. Move the ink. Make sure I've got it inked good. I've got it on the block. Hello. On the big one, we're going to put friend. Hello, friend. And we'll do that in the basic gray as well. And it's more of a filled-in stamp, so we want to make sure we get it good and covered. Get it lined up on my grid paper. Friend. Hello, friend. All right. That is all of the stamping. So now we're ready to add these to our card. And it doesn't matter where you add them. Um, well, you know what? I did rotate these. Looky here. Yep. I didn't think I did it on that one, but I did. All right. Here we go. The friend goes here. And let me just glue it down. We are almost finished with this card. If it hadn't taken me so long to do the stamping, we would have been already finished with this. And I apologize for that. I did my card just yesterday, and it worked just fine. But you know what? <laughs> That's the way it goes with Facebook Lives. For some reason... Something is going to go wrong. All right, there's that one. And then we're going to put the hello on this one. <coughs> we're going to put the hello right there. Oops. 
we're going to put the flowers right there, right here. And I would pop these up, <laughs> except I don't want to make my card too bulky. So we won't pop them up. But what I, oops, I put in my shirt, good for me. So what I am going to do, though, is I'm going to grab my... Uh, This is the light flips of coral. I'm going to go ahead and grab it. Just barely. Just barely colors it in. There we go. And I'm going to grab my Queen of Stella. And I'm going to put a little wink of Stella right in the center. There we go. Now you probably can't see it, but it just added some sparkle. And then I'm going to put my bloom on this one, my flower. I'm going to put it right here. There we go. And folks, we are done. There is our tower card. Write your note here. You could put more. You could put things on every panel. You could do that. That and that. There we have it. The sad thing for me is I can't put bling on it and I can't put ribbon on it because it would be too bulky if we did that. But, looky there. Isn't that fun? Now, for the measurements, you can go to my blog, blogspot.com, scrappandeedyspot.blogspot.com, and um, I will also have pictures, and I'll have to have some time. It may take me a little longer today to get these up. Anyway, um... Oh, I bet your tower is just fine. Kay, I want you to post a picture. Go over to the group page, Stampin' Dee Dee's Doings and Designs, and post a picture. I want to see it. All right? Thank you for being here. Push that up a little bit. I didn't realize it was not in view. So here we are. There we go. And um, if you're watching the replay, thank you for doing that. And please let me know that you're watching the replay and post me a picture of your card. All right. Have a wonderful weekend. And I will see you next Thursday with a mystery card. With a mystery card. So be looking for Clue 1 on Wednesday on this spot and on the um, group page. Be looking for that and get your things together and we'll do the mystery card together. All right. Blessings. Bye-bye.